right, Derek? If you can, um, you know, preseason polls, you no, nobody really thinks about, you know, that this is really going to be the way. But do you guys use that as motivation, or do you not talk about it at all? I mean, it's definitely something you could use as motivation. But just like some of these other coaches said, it, it don't mean anything. I mean, Coach Price, we're coming out with mentality. We're going from worst to first. And no, I, I totally believe it. He touched, touched base on some things to where, you know, any team can get beaten at any given time by anybody. And that's, that's one good thing about this conference that, you know, it's really fun going out every Saturday night playing because you really don't know what's going to happen. We've seen so many close games in this league. Um, and we talk, and he said, you know, won so many games by 10 or less and 7 or less. What are the little things that happen in a game that make that little difference? It's a little thing. I mean, penalties, that's, that's one big thing. It'll add up towards the end of the game. And then conditioning. You really don't think about it much, but so you know, most of these teams, you'll you'll condition at the beginning of season, but whether or not you can keep it throughout the entire season is really going to determine, especially in the fourth quarter, how you're going to you know end up in the game. Offensively, is the year of experience going to be the difference for you guys? Do you think you know whether it be a quarterback or on the offensive line, everybody just getting a year older and, and better? Is that going to be the biggest difference? It's definitely going to help. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be the determining factor because, you know, there's guys who are freshmen in, this, in these leagues and, you know, they, they impact teams just as much as a senior would. It's definitely going to help, you know, it's going to build some confidence for some guys that, you know, can go out and make some big plays. And although I don't think it's really the determining factor, it will help out. How do you go about changing mentality um, in terms of being in a game and believing that you guys can win when maybe you haven't done that before, maybe you haven't done it yet. How do you manufacture that mentality first? I mean, it starts with the older guys, I believe. I mean, I think it's something that, you know, when the younger guys look up to fellows like us, it's something that we have to instill in the younger guys because it's, it's contagious. You know, you're going to start that little fire, which is going to go into a campfire, which is going to, you know, end up to a force fire and, you know, it won't be put out. So it's something I believe that needs to be passed down from the older guys to the younger guys. A couple of things, Derek. You've seen a lot now four years yep. of Concourse. You're ready for your last camp. A lot of things have changed, but what's one thing you've seen stay the same here? One thing I've definitely seen stay the same is, you know, the grit. You know, Concord, we don't we don't come from much. You know, we make do with what we have and you know, it's, it's, it's small things that we really take advantage of from day to day that a lot of people take for granted that we don't. So that's one thing I really think has stayed the same throughout my whole uh, years at Concord. Coach Price is an old veteran, but other than that, the coaching staff is, is pretty young. It's really yeah. energetic coaching staff. How, yes. How, how do you guys feed off of that? I mean, from day to day, it, it's literally a competition, especially with uh, my position coach, Coach Jolly. We compete to see who gets on the field first, and it, it makes practice – and games, you know, exciting. And without that, you know, the season, it wouldn't be as enjoyable. And a lot of the coaches emphasize, you know, just having fun. And that's one big thing I think is really important is, you know, you got to go out there and have fun.